ישעיהו הנובי סס, שכונו בניבוככו יאמר השם, אם יהיו חטואיכם כשונים, כשלג ילבינו, אם יעדימו כתולו, כצמר יהיו. What is the difference between שלג and צמר? Two types of white. Sometimes the חטואים are going to be clean like צמר, and sometimes they are going to be clean like שלג. What is the difference between שונים and תולו? Two types of red. If they are going to be red as שונים, they are going to be white as שלג. If they are going to be red like a tola, they are going to be white like tzemer. The Meish Chochmo, the Meir Simcha HaKoyen from Dvinsk. By the way, the name Meish Chochmo is a posuk in Iyov that we learn on Tisha Obeov, Perik Chof Ches, posuk Yud Ches. Is the Meir Simcha being a Yerushalmi or Mesech Teshavis? We are talking about two different Botem Yikdoshim, Ba'is Rishoin and Ba'is Sheini. Ba'is Rishoin, the Chet is like Shoni, red. Ba'is Sheini is like Toilo, different type of red. What is the difference between a shoni and a tola? Red dye comes from insects. There's an insect called cochineal and lives on a plant called cactus. From there, they make a very deep, strong, bright red color called crimson. Today, they use this in cosmetics dyes and food coloring. And it's labeled E120. It is not kosher. The Noida Yehudo has already a chub about it. Lohuchshru lemeleches shumayim el or behemo tehor bilvat to make the Color in Beis Amikdash has to be from a kosher animal. A bug is not kosher. So he says it's the same like Tcheles. One of the Terutsum he says that has to be used for Oisius Atoiro. Anyhow, the bug is not red, but the dye is derived from the bug. So the Meshech Ochmo has to say, in Ba'ez Rishon, the Chatoim were like the blood Kashonim, very bright red. Ba'ez Sheini was like the Tolo, like the bug itself, that has inside the blood, but you don't see the redness. And he bases why is it that first Beis Amikdash was destroyed and rebuilt right after that? Second Beis Amikdash was destroyed and we're still in Golus. We have a Golus without a Ketz. We don't know where the Ketz is going to be. First Beis Amikdash after 70 years we start to rebuild it. He wants to say, in Ba'ez Rishon, they did a verus begolui, openly, but inside the word Ohavim, Mole Ahavo, Ahavaz Atoiro and Ahavaz Yisrael. Ahov was a Rosho, Afal Piken, he was Chovev, as a Toiro, he will never give us a Toiro to the Goyim. And the same way he says in Mesech the Sanhedrin, Kuv Beis Omed Beis, Esno Shove Kaspo Uzehovo Hoyo Muchan Lases Lemelech Benei Amon. He will give his wives, he will give his money to the Goyim. Levat mi Mahmat Einecho, but something he did not want to give them. This is the Torah. Beshum oifem uponim. He will not give it to Bnei Amon. And Yerushalmi says, they were not moiser each one to the Malchus. They were good inside and bad outside. That was Ba'ez Rishon. Ba'ez Sheni was just the opposite. They looked like good outside. They were corrupted inside. Sinnas Chinom. The Tola and the Shoni. The Tolas, the red from inside, not from the outside. That's Ba'ez Sheni. The Shoni is the redness that you see on the fabric. So by his vision was Kashonim. They knew exactly what they're doing wrong. By his shame was like a toilo. Was inside wrong but outside was not red. The by his vision they did chubo and became Kashelik. The by his shame got Zemer. Shelik is the widest of all Negoim. Zemer is secondary to it. If you moide that you are red from outside, Kashelik yalbinu. Moide beknas is potter. But if you hide the toim and you say that only red from the inside, from the outside doesn't look red, it's katzem meriyu. The chapor is going to be very lightly, not as white as shelik, as white as semer. The min has a lot of touch. Man is nano halaylo has a why is this golos? Kol halaylos different than all the golios. The answer is shebechol halaylos all the golios onu ochlim chometz umatzo. We know what's chometz, what's an abeiro, umatzo, what's a mitzvah. Halaylo haze, this golus, kulo matzo, everything is mitzvah. The mitzvah to say Rosh Hashanah on somebody, the mitzvah to be mevayish somebody. Bishnah Rebbe used to say, these mitzvahs I don't have a cheshek, but there are some avayas that do have a cheshek. But this person is an avayla to give him money. That avayla I like to do. This person is an avayla to be mishtativ in his simcha. That avayla I like to do. The Mishnah says, mitzvah gudelis mitzvah, vavayla gudelis avayla. The Noid Behudah once said, they collected money, by making a party of Tarovas Noshim Ba Noshim. And they said that the money is going to go to Tzdoko, it's not such a big avail. So he said, Mitzvah, 
Koreres mitzvah ve'aveiro, aveiro. Such a mitzvah that brings a mitzvah and an aveiro together is considered an aveiro. The Balabatim and Toyev Das, they made a big party with a mixed dance from the Friar. And they collected a lot of money and they gave it to Rav Shrag of Haibam Delovich. Rav Shrag of Haibam Delovich says, with this money, we are not going to put anything to the base of Midrash, but to the base of Kise and to pay the janitors. It happens to be that the janitors got paid before the Rabbeim. When somebody came to see the yeshiva, the Besamedes didn't look so nice. It was very old and poor. They used to show him the Bateki sauce that was nice from that money. Somebody came to the Satmerov and he was going for a Chnosos Kalu and he gave him a very small amount of money. Somebody else came, it didn't seem to be too medagdeg by mitzvahs, and to him he gave him a lot of money. The first one was a quarter of his. So he asked the Rebbe, how come I get only a small amount of money and he, you give him so much money? So Satmerov says, I have two pockets. From this pocket I only have a small amount of money. From the other pocket I have a lot of money. That's the money I collect from people who are not medagdeg by mitzvahs. So I give it back to them. 